Yeah. Well, firstly, uh, hi everyone. It's good to see you all. Um, I would have thought by now we'd be doing this in person after God knows how many years, but um, I hope that you've all been well. I hope that uh, your families are well and healthy, and I hope this is an amazing year for you. Um, I, I'm here in the UK. It's pretty cold and grey at the moment, typical uh, Brit weather. But um, uh, I, it was obviously a difficult. Um, it was a difficult time, naturally, for for me to be honest. And um, what I'd really love to say is a huge thank you to all of you for you know I've been know many of you for a long, long time. You've been on this journey with me for this 15, 16 years. But um, the support that you you gave at the end of the year was um, just incredible, and I, I'm forever grateful to to all of you. So thank you. Um, for me, I, I really just I just unplugged, switched off. Um, I think that it's firstly on one side I deserve to be able to switch off at the end of a year anyways but I had my family around me uh, my whole family around me it was actually a rare occasion where we're absolutely all together and just focused on being present with them um, obviously took time to digest what had happened which is I think still difficult to to fully understand everything but to come back stronger you know what doesn't kill you makes you stronger so um, I put my focus into just training getting healthy and uh, and enjoying the time off you know because it goes quickly I've considered retiring so many times I'm kidding no I really honestly I haven't um, of course I, I think at the end of um, at the end of seasons you think and the question is whether you're willing to commit the time and the effort that it takes to be a world champion. I think a lot of people underestimate what it takes to be a, a world champion. And there are so many moving parts. It's not just turning up and driving the car. So, yeah, the question is, do you want to sacrifice the time? Do you want to, do you believe that you can continue to punch at the weight that you're punching? Um, and so that's a normal kind of mental process for me but of course this one was compounded by uh, a significant um, factor and I think ultimately I love a sport that I've loved my whole life um, there was a there was a moment where I kind of yeah I've obviously lost a little bit of faith within the system and but I was I'm generally a very determined person and I th I th like to think to myself, like, um, whilst moments like this might defy others' careers, I refuse to let this defy mine. And so I'm focused on being the best I can be and coming back stronger. Thanks. No, I absolutely didn't watch. Uh, we watched the race. Um, it was something that I was very clear in mind. Um, the experience and of course it replayed in my mind um, quite a lot in the, uh, the in the, the coming weeks after the race um, I don't remember what I said to Max um, it's all a bit of a blur after that um, and yeah so I've not revisited it I don't particularly want to go backwards I want to look forwards um, what I will say I think from yesterday whilst we can't change the past um, and nothing will ever really be able to uh, to change the way and how I felt at the time and how I feel about the, the situation um, it's good to see that the FIA are taking steps to make improvements I think accountability is key and we have to use this mo this moment to make sure that this never happens to anybody else in, in the sport ever again and so um, yeah, we we need to even everything that's been said by the FAA yesterday. I, we welcome that, but we have to make sure that we keep a close eye and make sure that they, that that we actually are seeing those changes and rules are applied fairly and uh, accurately. The car is so much different than you know. It's so different to any other car that I've um, driven in the past in terms of the aero balance and how it shifts, the mechanical balance, how it shifts. Um, low rear, uh, low rear. It's um, a much different, different machine to drive, and it's going to require 
a lot of finesse, a lot of work to um, to find how to, to to set it up with new different tools that we have. But this is actually the most exciting part of of the year for me, I would say, at least up until this point, of course. When you see all of these engineers, all these men and women who have been working so hard, you see the smiles on their faces and the excitement because all this work that they've been doing over and over for uh, for months, it's the, the pieces are now built and they're being put together. And and then you get to see the car uh, delivered on a, on, a, on a launch like today. And then you get to see all the, the guys there's two of us that gets to go out and drive. It's um, it's a special experience to 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 uh, go through with everyone, and I have no idea what to expect when we get to get on track. I hope that the simulator is accurate. If not, we'll make corrections and um, and push forward. Yeah, I mean, with these long seasons, the off time isn't as long as uh, you would hope for. Um, and then you know it seemed to get shorter and shorter. But I think over the over the years I've learned how to be efficient with with my time, with my recovery, and then uh, with training and and uh, the building back up both your body and and your mind. Um, but I feel I feel great. I feel fit um, naturally when you have a, an, an extra year of experience under your belt. That always helps. And um, I always feel like through these sorts of, sorts of experiences, you can turn that emotion into strength and into power. And that's what I'm doing. I'm putting that into my training. I'm putting that into the work that I have with the men and women here in this team. And if you think that you saw uh, what you saw at the end of the last year was my best, wait till you see this year. Well, I mean, I probably put faith and trust uh, alongside each other, and so trust obviously can be lost in a blink of an eye or a flick of a finger. Trust is something that's, but to earn trust is something that's built over a long, long period of time. So um, whilst I didn't see that coming, uh, as I said, these, this first announcement at launch of yesterday is uh, perhaps the first step of that, but that doesn't, as I said, it doesn't necessarily change everything just yet. Um, we have to see actual action, and uh, I think it will take a bit of time. But um, I'm not really focused necessarily on that area at the moment. Just putting absolutely every ounce of my energy and time into making sure that I'm the best you've ever seen. I mean, ultimately, ultimately, I don't think there's been a huge change or shift um, or enough work that's been done from these social platforms we still have to apply pressure for them to make changes. Mental health is a real thing and through uh, these social platforms, people are experiencing abuse uh, in, in ways, and no one deserves that and that should never be tolerated. Um, and they're able to change these things and make, make changes, um, but they don't seem to do it quick enough. So I think we just need, con need to continue to apply pressure. Um, I, I was um, in touch with Nicholas um, he has my full support and I know how difficult it can be in those situations and I think it's important for people to to make sure uh, for him to know that he has support from people around him and um, yeah uh, but I, on another side of things that uh, you could see there's so much passion within this sport that's what really makes this sport so great there is so much this is has nothing to do with Max and Max did everything a driver would do given the opportunity he was given and um, he's a great competitor and we will go into another battle like we did last year and, and uh, conduct ourselves hopefully uh, we'll obviously grow from our, our races and, and experience we had last year also through the season but um, no issues with him I don't hold any grudges with anybody I never think that's ever a good thing to, to carry around with you so I move forwards, I don't dwell on the past. And as I said before, I, I feel fresh, I feel centered and fully focused. I don't have anything holding over my shoulders, holding me back this year. Not that I did last year, but I, I, I'm not letting that experience be one of those. This is something that's, you know, year on year, I get asked the question about legacy. And I think 
uh, in the earlier years, it's, it was really difficult to pinpoint or un even understand what a legacy really meant. Um, of course, I'd, I'd re read the books of Nelson Mandela and look at the legacy that he's left and how he used his time here uh, on this earth. I think, I think for me, I've, I've been given this incredible opportunity to be able to do what I do and, and be great at something. And, but I n I've never wanted to be defined by just by a driver. Um, because there are so many more, f uh, there are so many more ele elements to who I am, and I think ultimately someone that cares and uh, hopefully try to use the platform to real to really shift um, ideals, to to really shift uh, perceptions and um, and put pressure on systems to go in the right direction, to be more inclusive. Um, we've just had the launch of our car. Um, it's the probably the most diverse uh, group of people that you probably ever see at a launch. Um, when you're at shoot, something's seeing that now. When you at the factory, you're seeing that. And the amazing work that we're doing with Ignite um, and, and Mission Forty Four, it's 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 something I'm really proud to be a part of. But it's it's all great and well having those set up. They really need to create change and and action is, is something that we're really really working on making sure that um that we see that long term so that's what i hope to be remembered for actually seeing some serious change and seeing our sport and the ed and the education system um work better for those from you know socially uh you know lower income families from from minorities coming through George, I've naturally I, I I don't remember meeting him when I was because uh, I got a bit bad memory, but I don't remember. I've see we see that picture of him when he was a kid when I was at McLaren, um, and of course he's had a, an amazing run uh, getting to Formula One, and he was already a part of our team. So I've I've seen him around our um, engineering. I've seen him over time from simulator times, and then obviously him being in Williams. So he he fits in. And, and fits the position like a glove um, and I, so far it's, it's great and honestly I think I've learned a lot um, over the years of how to engage with uh, your teammate, how you work as a team in helping the team achieve the ultimate goal. That's you know one of the reasons we have more world titles than any other team and um, so I'm excited to, to, to engage with him, to collaborate with him. Hopefully our driving styles aren't too dissimilar. Um, I know also what it's like for him being in the position up against the world champion. And um, I know the pressures that come with it, the expectations, and also the internal feelings of, of what it's like. And um, I want him to, to learn as much as he can and grow as, as, as much as he can. Um, and, and I'm, I have no doubts he's going to be a, a strong competitor. competitor. So um, I'll be focusing also hard to make sure I do the job uh, to the best of my ability.